This is Megan Bostick. Welcome back to Getting Published 101. Facing Rejection Part 2. Rejection letters come in all shapes and sizes. This is the postcard rejection. These are impersonal form rejections that make you wonder if they even read your entire letter. And you're not even worth an entire page. Then you have a regular form letter. It's the same as the impersonal postcard letter, except for you get a full size sheet this time. The good thing about these form letters is they always apologize for the impersonal nature of the letter. Here's where you start having a little more faith in yourself again. You receive a letter that actually has your name and your book's name included in it. This means the agent or assistant actually took the time to read your entire letter so they can indeed insert your name in the rejection. Nice. These are my favorites. It's the quickly scrawled note right on your query letter itself and then sent back to you in your own self-addressed stamped envelope. See? Eventually, you'll actually get a rejection back with a reason why they rejected your novel. The best rejection of all, though, is one in which it's obvious they read your letter or any materials you might have sent to them, and they actually thought about representing you before they rejected you. That's all the time I have right now. Thanks for tuning in again. We'll see you next time.